Hello everyone, Corn here and welcome to Cornflower Crafts. I'm working on something that I haven't worked on, a project that I haven't done in a while, but is the reason I started paper crafting. And that is, yes, a pocket letter. Woo! And let me tell you, I will show you, of course, let me see if I can get this the papers I haven't cut up to show you. It was put out by Photoplay and it is crafting with my gnomies. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I'll be honest with you. I'm not a huge fan of the colors, to be honest, because I love pastels. And who I'm doing this for is like me and loves pastels as well. But it's also for another gnome lover because I know um, not all my subbies uh, really like gnomes. Um, they're not fans, and some of them have told me so. <laughs> but um, there are some of us out there who absolutely adore them, think they're so cute and sweet. And uh, so I found this on Amazon. And... We're not only dealing with knitting, scrapbooking, this is embroidery, um, there is some cross stitch, sewing, uh, uh, knitting, here's our little knitter down here, um, he's fussy cutting a star, um, the typewriter here for your uh, your paper crafters, it's just a so cool. Crop, inspire, create. <laughs> super, super cute. So this is your little, let me see. This is your little cover. And then you're going to get, isn't that darling? I haven't incorporated this yet on the pocket letter. But here's one page and you get the knitted the green knit on the other side. I've already cut up the other one of these cut aparts. <laughs> and um, what I did was fussy cut him out where he says, oh crop. <laughs> and now he is. Doo -doo. And as you see, they put a bow, they tied the end of his beard with a bow. And he's got ribbon here. And then, I hope you can see this. I thought I'd, let me see. I thought it set it up so you guys could see. Um, yes. And then the knitwit mm -hmm. is this one. And I just fussy cut him out. And I didn't like what that said. I mean, I know it's cute, but I don't think it's fun. Or that, that's why I cut and then this one, I went ahead and fussy cut that out as well because the card that's going to go with this, I thought this would be great on a slimline card going this way. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And you can see, do you remember, do you guys remember how um, Dollar Tree had these great uh, nail, I don't have nails long enough, <laughs> uh, embellishments for your fingernails this is some time ago well I saved mine and I put them in this little container and I thought if I might not go with the black I might go with another one but I have to go find my other ones so that I can I had pulled this for a project so that I can put that on there and I thought that would be perfect for look at this of the taking the photographs for the scrapbook and there's some of the photographs <laughs> so cute and then he's made a garland. <laughs> so I thought that'd be great for the card. And um, do you... Oh, let me... I always jump ahead of myself. And here's what's on the back. See, color-wise... Mm, 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 I'm not a fan. But that's okay because I love the gnomies. And I'm trying... I'll show you what I've done so far with the pocket letter. I'm trying to, to bring out the pastels as best I can. Does it match perfectly? No. This is what I'm fussy cutting a lot out. And yes, um, 
do I need to even take um, my glasses off and actually just get it real close to my face and, and cut these out? Yes, but you'll see, I really like it. And I've already used the other page of that. Use the other page of this. Isn't that precious? For those of us that also sew, there's your machine, there's your embroidery floss, there's your little patches. Here is your um, kind of cross stitch, and I do have my Aida cloth over there. Just in, I'm thinking about doing just a little pattern for her, um, either to place in the back or on the front. That's the other thing I'm thinking. Can I put this in the back? Should I put this in the back? Should I put this in the back? <laughs> Look at the pin cushion, the little tomato. I know it's tomato. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Um, or tater. Like we say, and made her. <laughs> Look at your scissors. I just love that, isn't it? I just love what's on it. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the colors. This isn't bad. And I've got that definitely on my um, pocket letter. And I did a lot of fussy cutting with this page, too. So cute. I'll get it as close as I can. Look how precious they are. And this one, this is on there in small supply. Oh, no thanks. <laughs> and then we have the stickers. Now you think, you would probably think, corn, use the stickers and don't do all that fussy cutting. But what I'm going to do is, yes, fussy cut out my stickers and put them in the bag. <laughs> I can hear Annie now. Oh my word. Corners back to all that pussy cutting. I like things the way I like them. And so, yes, I do a lot of pussy cutting. Um, what happens at the crop stays at the crop. Made with love. Memories. Crafter. Maker. Scrapper. I love this. Maker's gonna make. <laughs> Crafty weekend. And share your creativity, handmade and heartfelt. Get your craft on. I totally made this. This is um, not the color wise, but I love that it's tight. Love that one. You're so sweet. Art is messy. Amen. That's what makes it fun. Inky fingers. And if Heather's looking, Heather would say, gluey fingers. <laughs> Well, she has inky, fing inky and gluey fingers sometimes. And then you have your little scrap, sew, knit, stitch, crochet, paint. Love it. Remember, uh, Mamie does a lot of the painting. And I just I just thought it was really cute. And I thought, and it's made here in the good old USA. And so there's the stickers that go with it. Now, I don't know how y'all do a uh, pocket letter, but this is... This is how I do mine. First off, I'm looking at everything, right? I just look at everything. I'm like, oh, let me make sure y'all are seeing what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. Maybe over a little bit. All right. So I'm like, okay, I'll use this paper, which is under there. I set things out first, you know. I'll do, I grabbed, um, I have paper, solid paper that's just in these Hobby Lobby containers, 12 by 12 containers that are pink that I got years ago and on, I think on clearance or at least on sale. And I have blue, purple, yellow, pink, green, and neutral colors. And so I just grab each one of those and go through them. And who I'm doing this for likes pastel pink. She likes the light lavender instead of purple or light purple, which is lavender. Blue is her color, so that takes center stage. This is a little bit darker blue and then the lighter blue here and here. If you all remember, I have a tendency to like to go boom, 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 boom. And then these I switched up. Um, as far as, oh, she also likes yellow, but I went with the pastel yellow. So this 
will have the polka dots on top and then this side is going to have the polka dots on the bottom. Oh, this will get the corners taken care of. This won't because we have decorative corners. I don't know if I'm going to put them down here too or if I'm going to do a different, probably do that flower paper down here. I'm not sure. That's one thing with me. This is left out so that I can fiddle with it and fiddle with it and fiddle with it. I have when I do pocket letters, I never do, okay, I'm just going to do this for this, this, this. No, I keep going on and on and on till I'm happy. And like I said, it looks a little bit odd because I have the pastel in the background. And then I have their um, anything but pastel colors in the paper. But if y'all are like me, you want to, you want to make it so that the person you're making it for, you make them smile, not, oh, okay, well, <laughs> do they know me? Do they know that that's not my colors? It may not be her colors, but it is definitely her nomies. Do you know what I mean? So, so I think she's going to like it because of that. And I'm also going to try to bring in some inks to hopefully help a little bit um, work on the corners on some of them but not all like I said not on this one and <laughs> y'all look at this <laughs> isn't that cute <laughs> and I think it looks like oh okay they're going to tape that down on the corner and there's some of the pictures for this one um, he's knitting so I'm wondering, should I do something with yarn here on the bottom? I'm not sure I might. Um, I think if I do the uh, Fabrifix or Fabri-Tac and then do the yarn, you know, here, 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 here. Um, I want to bring, I want to do something. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. But he, um, he's fussy cutting, like I said. He's got the um, garland, and I might try to do a garland, you know, coming down uh, with the hearts like he has. Um, I love, look at the paper cutter. <laughs> look at the paper cutter, y'all. How cute is that? Isn't that darling? I just think that's adorable. And then when it, let me make sure I'm, I'm in frame. And then when it comes to this little fella, he's got tag in hand. So I, I ended up cutting out these guys because I knew that I, I tried doing four, you know, one in each, um, coming up like this and then, oops, on the bottom like this, but I wasn't, <clears throat> excuse me, I wasn't a fan. So I thought, well, I've got you all with me. I'm thinking, should I put, now this is exactly like the one in his hand. Should I put that one there? And because these are the larger ones. And this one here. Which is cute. Or. Should I do. You know. We as, as creators are going to do. What we feel is best. But it's always so much fun. When you all say. Well I kind of like that. And I can. You know. Because it lets me know. What you you guys like. I know what I like. <laughs> in this. Um, and I know. What I plan on putting down there. But I would love to hear from y'all. If you have if you have time. I know everybody's busy. Including myself. Now I am supposed to be doing something else right now. But Handsome said. <laughs> Handsome said honey. You know. You, you should just go ahead. And. Um, Take a break, because I've been doing a bunch of other stuff. He said, take a break. And a break for me is probably a break for, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, and just get in a craft room and de-stress and just do something for somebody that you think is pretty cool. And um, that's what I'm doing. So this came to me, though. Um, I've wanted to do this for a while. 
But like I said, I had all that other stuff going on. So, anywho. Um, but this is what I do. Um, a lot of times, I'll go ahead and have, like this, I'll have, I want that as the base of this uh, rectangle. So, I will put things here. I'll get ribbon, like this being lavender. I will get... Um, these ribbons out and I'll be like do now see I think this is adorable the the gingham and that one's from uh, Dollar Tree but compared to everything else even though we have little hearts little stars and everything to me this is just super sweet I, I still might do it but I doubt it this is the one I think I'm going to go with how do I open this? Sometimes they have that wonderful little closure. Now that's from Dollar Tree as well, but it's the Ofre, which I, I like. I've been liking Ofre all my life, so. All my life. Ah! Well, let's say this. As far as I can remember. How about that? I think it's hilarious. My southern accent gets a lot thicker when I'm in the craft room. Have y'all noticed that? That's because... Oh, look. Look, y'all. We took the dots right off of it. Look. Oh. <laughs> oh. I like it when they do that, though, so that I can still cover up, um, you know, so it won't, when I've got it where it should be either on a, it's actually a curtain holder. Sometimes I put these on right through here or in my containers that it won't end up like this, you know, and all smushed up. I can still put that plastic around it. It'll be fine. See, something tells me the dots might look, you know what I mean, might look better. And that could be like in the middle, maybe the here and here. That might be cute. Hmm. Now, she's doing embroidery, but I think if I do the count it cross stitch, it's going to be a heart, just a sweet little heart, because um, I don't need a pattern for that. I've been doing that for so many years. <laughs> In the past, I had books and books and books of patterns for cross stitch, but not anymore. So what about that? Well, I'll show you what this one looks like. Let's see. Oh, this one has a good closure, too. Cool. Let's throw this away. See, I just think this is too sweet. See? I don't, you know, with all the other colors, I think it's pretty, but I think it's just too sweet. I don't think I'm going to be doing that one. I don't think. And I have to, my little plastic fell on the floor. <laughs> so I'm going to do this just just to like I said it might change but just to show me what I was thinking in the first place you know what I mean? Because sometimes I'm like what did I have in mind? <laughs> that was <coughs> that was two days ago. Hmm. Um and that's not going to match this one, even though the background does. I'll be doing something different. I'm thinking about, especially since it has the white around it, doing um, doing that black paper that has the flowers. How cute is that? Super, super cute. And if you guys have time, if you don't, that's fine too. But if you have time, maybe you can tell me what you're working on these days. Probably Easter. Or has everybody finished with Easter? Did I show you the die cutting machine, y'all? I absolutely love this. Look at this. <laughs> oh. 
think that's precious physics, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. So, I'm thinking there'd probably be a little lace on there, maybe on the center one. But again, probably not because I need, I was thinking about the yarn on this one. I have, since this will be the top row, and when I fold it, that will be the first thing. And when that happens, sometimes I'm able to put some more 3D items on top. And since he is fussy cutting with his scissors, his star out, I might put, I have uh, scissors that are button, and I might have scissors that are charm. I have to go searching. And I'll put that somewhere on here and maybe even do a star and have that on as well, close to the scissors. Um, the lovely lady that this is going to loves rabbits too. I don't know if these two rabbits are going to stay there. Um, this is, <laughs> I like it. This is a ribbon, grow grain ribbon. And I think that's from Walmart some time ago. As you know, I would love to just cut it here and then fussy cut around it. But since it's grow grain, it's going to go everywhere. So I can't do that. But I thought it looks so cute that they've got their little paws, you know, on top of the other paper. And then putting him in the middle, maybe on some foam tape, you know. Like I said, this is early on. And I guess if you all have time, show, you know, let me know how, you're, how you do yours. Because... This won't be, I don't think I'll glue anything down until I'm happy. That's the way I do them. And um, I think pocket letters, oh my goodness, they're so much fun. And if you do sign the back of them, um, sometimes the person that you give them to, they will just, uh, if they don't keep the pocket letter, which a lot of people don't, and that thinks that's fine, they can take them out and they make a wonderful front of the card. Great front of the card. So if you want to send cards out, you know, and stuff. So I just love doing them. Um, and I'm going to make a tassel for her like I used to. I don't, these are down here because, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. Ugh. Because I didn't, I don't think I'm going to use these, but I might. I have in silver and in gold, probably in gold because of all this yellow. And just clip it, you know, through the hole there. And you can thread your um, ribbons through here. And beads and whatever else you want on them, on your tassel. Um, so I, I like to do them this way. Uh, I also use a different kind of clip. And so that the person, and I tie them here with a bow. So you can just untie the bow and the recipient can pull the ribbons out and use them any way they want. Which I think is, you know, you're giving them all those ribbons and... Um, other trims and maybe yarn and goodies like that and they can just just untie that bow and they're all to their disposal to use the way they want um i'm also making this lovely person a, a mini gnome and there's the body <laughs> i tried you know like her favorite color is blue she also loves uh, baby pink and she loves yellow and like I said white purple I didn't have any gloves like that and I was out to this morning and I didn't find any either and then I was looking at like infant socks in those colors and to do one small and I couldn't find that either I was very discouraged that's the thing guys I don't know about y'all but I'm not finding things like I used to before the pandemic. And I understand about, you know, supplies and, and everything like that. But I'm not finding a whole bunch of stuff. I really am not. Um, 
One of the things I thought I'd show you that I'm going to put in the back, since she loves bunnies like me, remember I get on my little um, sidekick and out of felt, um, these little bunnies out of felt, I thought the recipient would like. And I also did the little bows in case she wants to put like in there on their little hairdo. <laughs> Don't have any hairdo. Um, beside their ear or, let me get this one. Here's a yellow one. Or like um, here, you know. And I also cut out, I'm going to do these in paper also in case she wants it, but I'm going to try, if I can't fit the supplies behind here, I'm going to try to put as many supplies as I can for her to do, make her own mini No, because she is very creative and like I said, she's really cool. So also let me show you these little bows too. I cut out these guys as well. And that takes up a whole lot, but it's still cute, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see. Those are big ones. But you know, she could do like that too if she wants. So, one other thing, and I just got it about three days ago, super excited about, is... On Amazon, they had this die. Eee! Look how cute he is. So there's his chubby little gnome body. And his gnome hat and his beard. And there's his little mittens. And this, they did the hearts with it. Um, I'm just going to be doing the gnome. And I think the recipient can do whatever. And I might find some other, like I said, I thought she might get a kick out of, since she loves rabbits as much as me, you know, having him hold a bunny rabbit. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Like I said, I'm also going to do them in paper as well as felt. But talk about texture and stuff. How fun would that be, too? And um, so I thought what I would do, since I want her to have the supplies that she can make a mini gnome herself. Or I'll go through what I have. Um, if not this, then just a really small gnome. You all, like you all saw my, um, remember my ballerinas I did? Let's get one. Because those I kept, the ballerinas in mine. And um, I think, I hardly keep any of them. But this one I remember. <laughs> oh, her little her little tool is flipping up. Get back there, you. And uh, something like, which is and an infant sock. Is that what this one's made of? But I thought maybe she would think it's cute, you know, to have that. I thought it might be fun for her to have um, or make a gnome that she can have watch her craft. <laughs> you know what I mean. Put Because um, you all saw when Fred was, I was watching Fred craft when he did. Yes, I have the picture. Please forgive the Galea. But as you all know, Emmy and Clarissa, um, Clarissa's channel is Ketamia's Corner, uh, created this one. Fred created this one f for them. And as you see, they're out in the garden and they're holding hands. And let me tell you how clever Emmy is. She ended up taking a finger of her glove to make the hand. I didn't even think of that. I thought, oh my goodness, that's clever. Isn't that clever? And look how precious she's decorated. Barbara and Hyacinth. And it's a fruit tree in the background, y'all. How cool is that? And bl um, blooming. So... But let me, oh, I know what else. I wanted to show you guys this. Remember when I got the roving yarn and I was having a hard time with it. Let me show you all. If you go like this, look. <laughs> I don't know if that's showing up, but 
it comes apart and um it's really cool though i will say that remember i got the roving yarn at dollar tree y'all remember that i was so excited now when you braid it it it's fine see how tough of course when you knit and crochet with it yeah but when you braid it it's you know really strong and everything but I was going to put it on one of my Easter and springtime gnomes, but I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> Do you all have any recommendations? So, I just like the look. I had it pinned on her and everything. I had it like, you know, where part half here and half here. I, I disliked it so much. You all are going to laugh at me. That I went ahead and put a tiny rubber band here. Normally I would do a string over it. You know if I was going to keep it that way. And I thought maybe I can make her uh, Princess Leia do. And put you know on either side. Because <laughs> I was like I'm just not digging. And put this under her hat. You know what I mean. I was like I'm not digging. And make two of them. I'm just not digging that. That this. Because no matter how much I cut it or tried to make it pretty, this is what I got. If you all have any ideas on how to make that pretty so that when her braid, just a single braid, is, you know, on either side of her face, that it would look good because then I don't like it. I don't like that part. <laughs> I sound like a child. I don't like that, but I don't like it. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you have any advice because I've never worked with roving yarn in my life. And one other thing I wanted to show you guys, have you all seen these at the Dollar Tree? It's a Yama ribbon, mega. And they have it in this pink and this blue. They have it in a thinner also, which I have the, the thinner one as well. They're made in India. And here's the here's the thing, guys. Check out. It says that Singe Face Satin. It is 5 8 inch by, you ready for this? 75 feet. It is 25 yards in each of these. Now, I thought that was worth $1.25. Excuse me. I, I can speak. I really can. <laughs> and on more than one occasion, I could speak. So, I just I want to show you guys these two. So, what I'm going to do, since she does love blue, and she does love baby pink, which is what this is, I'm going to make her ribbon flowers with these. And I will either put them behind there, but if I think they're going to get smushed in the pocket, I will put them in a little bag. Because, <laughs> as you know, too, when you're doing these tiny little ribbon flowers, you don't want them smushed, ever. So, I've got, like I said, I have a more narrow one. It might be, a, I don't know. I don't remember the width, and they're not where I can grab them. Um, I won't be making any out of that size. It's so tiny. But this size, the 5 8 inch, I think will make pretty ribbon roses. So, or not roses, they're flowers. So, and they will go with this because the recipient likes that. But if you all find this and you think, I don't need any more pink ribbon or something like that, look what you get. And even if you don't need any more, Think of sharing that with others because 25 yards, woo, I'm going to share some here. So, anywho, that's what I'm working on. And y'all are so darling about coming to the craft room and, and listening to me, yappity yep. <laughs> and uh, share what I'm doing. And, and I know some of you are going to share your opinions on which ones. I should use the two larger ones, one of them matching exactly what's in his hand, or the two smaller ones, because you all always let me know. And I know exactly who you are. <laughs> I keep a note of that. 
And I want to thank you all so much for joining me in the craft room. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.